Hey besties, I hope you all are doing amazing. So today I have a drama filled video for you and I am gonna be spilling all kinds of tea. Also, I have been dying to show you guys one of my latest resin creations. So I received this dragon egg mode from Let's Resin and guys, this mode with their chameleon flake glitter is like, literal chef's kiss so you guys have to stay till the end if you want to see the final results and let me know what you think so as for these stories besties you know i need you to help me be the judge and find out if these ops are the a-holes or not so guys this first one is extremely short sweet and to the point and the title just smacked me right in the face so you guys have to let me know what you think so for this one op is wondering would I be the a-hole if I didn't tell my friend with benefits that he got me pregnant? I, 25 female, just found out that I'm pregnant. I've only been sleeping with one person regularly and it's always with protection. And neither one of us want kids and I would have had my tubes tied by now if it was up to me. Although he doesn't want kids, he's very religious and has made it very clear that abortion would simply never be an option for him. I feel like if I was to tell him that I'm pregnant, he would put a lot of pressure on me to keep the baby despite both of our views. We've never discussed other possibilities in the worst case scenario, but being adopted myself, I'm not willing to carelessly bring another human into the world and leave them to fend for themselves. So other than keeping the child to raise ourselves and live in misery, I don't see any good options. What would you do? Dude, that question is heavy. I honestly don't know what I would do in this situation because I've never really put myself in a situation like this. But for me, I think that OP just needs to do what's best for her. Telling him might make it easier for her to make the best decision. But if she feels like that's just gonna stress her out, then I don't blame her for not wanting to tell him. So I don't know, you guys have to let me know what you would do in this situation. That one was hard. Okay, so this next one, based on the title, I assume is gonna be a lot easier to judge. This one just seems messed up on so many levels, but I haven't read it yet, so you know these stories can always change by the end of it. So this next one is called, am I the a-hole for not telling my son that his brother passed away? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say, heck yeah. Come on, come on. Maybe OP has a good reason, let's find out. So for a little background info, my youngest slept with his brother's wife. After his brother found out, he and his wife got a divorce and my youngest ended up marrying her a year later. So my 56 male oldest son, 33 male, had cancer and passed away three weeks ago. Over the months leading up to his death, my youngest son, 30 male, and his wife have been trying to reconcile with my oldest, but he has always made it known that he wanted nothing to do with them. He specifically told me that they were unforgiven and that he was not going to forgive them just to ease their guilt. When I kept bringing up the idea of reconciling, he used to get mad at me. So eventually I just stopped trying. I just kept telling my youngest and his wife that they had to accept that he wanted nothing to do with them and they needed to move on. So when my oldest passed, I didn't tell my youngest or his wife to honor his wishes. He always made it clear that they didn't deserve to mourn him in life and they didn't deserve to mourn him in death either. About a week ago, my youngest saw his brother's obituary and called me. He started screaming at me for not telling him that his brother had passed. He said that I denied him the opportunity to make things right and that I should have told him his brother was gone. I told him that it would have been disrespectful for him to even come in the first place because his brother didn't even want him there. He hung up on me and blocked my number. My wife told me that she feels guilty for not telling him and that we should have given him the opportunity to say goodbye to his brother. I told her that it would have been just as disrespectful for us to do so as he made it clear that he didn't want them to come. She says she understands but I should have just dropped it so that we could have all had a chance to heal. I told her that what our youngest did was unforgivable and I was not going to allow him to disrespect his brother in life and in death as well. My wife has been crying constantly because our son blocked us and she started blaming me as well. I'm hurt but I don't regret what I did or even see what I did wrong. I feel like my youngest should take accountability for his actions instead of blaming everyone else. So am I the a-hole? Mm. Once again, I thought this was gonna be so easy, but this one is a little bit tough too. Like I get the mother's pain. My heart really does break for her because it's almost like she lost both of her sons. But I cannot blame OP for honoring his son's wishes. Yeah, what the youngest son did was honestly unforgivable. He literally stole his brother's wife. Although I believe that ultimately forgiveness is the best option, 
I honestly don't blame the brother for not being able to forgive him. And I just can't be mad at OP for honoring his son's wishes. So honestly, the only A-holes that I see in this situation is going to have to be the youngest brother and his wife. What they did was just messed up on so many levels, but I can't speak on it too much because I don't know the entire situation. But honestly, that whole situation just sounds like a big old mess. So you guys have to let me know. I mean, who do you think the a-hole is? Should the dad have honored his son's wishes or do you think he should have just told the brother? I don't know, y'all. So for this last story, guys, the title is feeling extremely petty. So I don't know who the a-hole is yet, but we're about to find out. This one is called, am I the a-hole for separating from my husband because he shares hobbies with another woman and he has a crush on her? So my husband and I had a happy marriage. We agreed on almost everything. We didn't argue much and we shared the load. We've always supported each other in a lot of ways. However, I found out that he has a big crush on his female friend. They met two years ago. They both have the same hobbies. He looks like her past exes and fits the type of men that she likes to date. I support my husband's hobbies and I've even tried to get into them myself, but I just can't. Nevertheless, I listen to him talk about his hobbies and I ask him about things, I buy things for him, I celebrate with him when he accomplished things. Well anyways, he confessed to his best friend that he was interested in this woman. He had an emotional crisis over the fact that I didn't share his hobbies and as a result became less enthusiastic about telling me, all because I can't appreciate them on my own. As a result, he became depressed and less interested in day to day life with me. This other woman is also interested in his hobbies and she's an expert. He finds himself excited and enthusiastic about his hobbies again and feels alive. And they've been spending a ton of time together on their mutual hobbies. He said that while he loves me, he feels happier, smarter, and more fulfilled with her. He doesn't want to leave me, but he doesn't want to keep her out of his life. When his best friend came and told me about this, he showed me all of the texts and voice messages. I talked to my husband later that day and he confessed that that was how he felt. He said that he was sorry and that he would never cheat on me or leave me. He said he was trying to wait it out until the crush died, but he had a crush on her since the day he met her. At this point, I realized that I wasn't enough for him. I asked to just separate for a while. I mean, how can I continue a marriage with a husband who's falling for another woman? Now my husband is begging me not to divorce him, so am I the a-hole? No, I just can't say that OP is the a-hole in this situation. And honestly, I feel like she might be making the best decision for both of them. Like the husband is completely toying with their relationship. You're not supposed to hang out regularly with somebody that you have a crush on. I mean, it's one thing if this was like a quick passing crush, cause you know, maybe those happen to some people, but it's been two years, bruh. That's not a crush anymore. I just don't think that that's a healthy way to handle a marriage. If I feel like I'm catching feelings for another man, you better believe that I'm not gonna just keep hanging out with him and then just hope the feelings go away. At the end of the day, I do think that it was for the best that OP separated. And honestly, maybe she shouldn't divorce him just yet. And there might be time to see if their relationship can work later on. But until this whole crush situation is resolved, I understand why she would wanna stay separated. So you guys have to let me know what you think. Sometimes I am completely off base for what you guys say in the comments. So you guys gotta let me have it. What do you think? Also besties, you have to let me know what you think about the final results to this amazing holographic dino egg. This mold is so gorgeous, so intricate, and I am obsessed with it in itself. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this took me forever to paint the holographic glitter into the mold. I was really wanting to go for an ombre effect for the egg, but I wanted to make sure that the crystals at the base would be a completely different color so that they would really stand out. And once I demolded this, guys, my jaw dropped. This is exactly what I envisioned. So now that I've seen that this technique works, I am so, so excited to try this again with more colors. So you guys have to let me know in the comments what color should I use for my next egg. I'm torn between green and red. So cast your vote for my next egg by dropping some green or red emojis in the comments. All right, besties. Thank you so much for being here as usual. I love your faces and I will see you in the next video. Stay kind, stay amazing, and keep on resonating. Peace.